just got done cleaning the calipers, the brake cleaner, and a wire brush. Scrubbed all the dirt off. And now I'm going to hit it with a 220 grit sandpaper. Nothing fancy, just using my hands. And I'm going to get in there and I'll just stuff it up. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to scuff it. You know I just finished the brake cleaner. I hit it with 220 grit. And then I wanted to show you guys that what I do is I come in after the sandpaper and I just clean it really good with a wipey. You get so much dirt off this way and I'm hitting the areas that your eye is going to see when you're looking at the caliper, like in here. I'm cleaning in there because I'm gonna to have to hand paint that inside right here. And then don't sweat the back too much. No one's gonna see that after the tire's on. After I'm done cleaning with the wipes and getting a ton of the sand junk off, I'm going to hit it again with the brake cleaner because it has alcohol in it and it just makes it really dry and sticky. And then I'm ready to tape up and prime. That's it. We're ready to roll. Here I am at the masking off process and I wanted to show you guys how I did it with the trash bag. I just put the trash bag over the entire disc and then I punctured a little tiny hole and just let the hole kind of ease its way over the caliper so it just naturally goes into the area that I want. Don't sweat the back too much, you won't be able to see that, but I wanted you to see that I have these tools that I'm using for placing the tape way up over the junk that's in there that you do not want to see any paint on. And I just put the tape on, I kind of mask it over here mask all the wires and this is all gonna be taped off because the last thing you want is a gorgeous caliper and a stupid looking car so really take your time with this part okay we're good now we're gonna so I'm getting ready right now to paint the caliper wanted to show you how I taped everything off this little part under here, which you are going to be able to see, you might have to touch up with the spray paint and a little tiny brush after you're completely done and you can see all your mistakes. Normally I don't have very many mistakes because I get to this before I spray paint. I get all those little spots in there. Okay, and I have completely taped off the wheel well and almost the entire front of the car. Here's my products. Brake cleaner. I'm going to do three coats of the primer. Three coats of that sexy red caliper paint. And three coats of the gloss after I place my little sticker on the front, which I will show you how I do because um, it's almost like uh, it's not just a sticker. Like you put the sticker on and you take it off and then you have to take the front part of the sticker off and I know that there are technical terms for this but I don't know those technical terms okay here I go I just put my first coat of primer on I wanted you to see the products I'm using all the same three coats of primer wait 10 minutes in between each coat then I wait an uh, no, I wait 10 minutes and then I start with the color and then after I have three coats of the color on I wait a full hour before I place my transfer. It's like a sticker but you actually leave it on there without the sticker. It, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, this part goes really fast. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes color, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes an hour and then I finish up with my gloss three coats of this 10 minutes in between and then we're done I just let it sit overnight and the next day I have a gorgeous shiny caliper getting ready to put the transfer sticker on I already let my paint dry for about an hour and it's dry to the touch now so this part I'm gonna get real quiet on you guys because I start to get very nervous about placing this sticker so you guys can just see 
how I do it now. I can see where the P and the E are still underneath there from the old Porsche logo. And I kind of marked it with this thing. So I could see about there. Just so that I get them pretty straight. But now I'm about to get real quiet. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and press. It's dry to the touch now. And I'm going to give you guys a hint here. I kind of twisted up this little edge so that I don't have to go digging around in there. And that really helps. Let me tell you, the first time I didn't do that, and it was really stupid. And another thing that helps is a blow dryer. Put it on really hot. And just kind of rub it in, let the heat melt those letters in, press, press, you can kind of see how, you can see when they're molded in there. So now I'm going to attempt to peel. Now when you peel, just go really carefully and when you start to see the letter peel off, let's see, there you go, that's pretty successful there. We got that good. Let's go real slow. Just relax, take a breath. I got my letters on and do not be alarmed if when you peel off your letters you can see a little indentation of where the sticker used to be, where you pulled it off. Just press, just get those little corners in. Okay, everything looks fabulous right now. And now I'm just gonna start clear coating right over this. I'm gonna get that area really well. I'm gonna get the whole thing. And three coats of this, 10 minutes in between. And seriously, you're done, that's it. And then I'll show you the final product after we're all done. Okay. Voila! As you can see, my gorgeous red caliper is in. And I wanted to show you how I get this tire in by myself. A little handy dandy way is to buy some dowel rods and then kind of situate your tire and then try to get the dowel, kind of jimmy it in there and place it and place it and then you can kind of straighten out the wheel yourself in case you don't have an extra pair of hands to help you do this. Okay, oh, I'm gonna put a little anti-seize on this before it goes in, just a touch. And then um, I'll tighten all this stuff up and I'll catch you on the next. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put her down and tighten up. Take it up to 96 pounds per the Porsche manual. And then we're good to go. Really? I guess I'm stronger than I thought. Oh, brother, that's nuts. So here is my finished product. Do do do. And you guys can do this yourself, no problem. Hope you enjoyed it.